Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today we are house hunting some more. <laughs> Sorry I had to think about that. I have so much going on it's crazy. But yes, as you know I am moving to Dallas and I am on the hunt for a house to rent. So I have already put up one video if you want to go check that out of a few houses I already looked at. Here are a few other houses I checked out. I put on there how much they are for monthly rent in case any of y'all are curious. Of course this is no way bragging or anything. When I actually wanted to rent in Dallas, I went on YouTube and started watching videos about apartments and houses in Dallas to kind of get an idea of what I could afford with my budget. I feel like I learned a lot about YouTube and so I hope this also is helping people who are maybe looking in the Dallas area or if you just like looking at houses and keeping up with what I'm doing. Alright, enough jabbering, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm 
father's house I'm worried about being by myself I'm worried I ain't doing too well I'm worried but I did it to myself, yeah I'm worried that you don't need me I'm worried that you're gonna leave me I'm worried that it won't work out, yeah I'm worried that I'll never make it out, yeah That is it for this video. I ended up not going with any of these houses. I actually did apply to two of them though. So we're getting a little bit closer on the search. But the issue was that on two of them, I went and saw both of them and toured them, which I still don't live that close. Like my parents don't live that close to Dallas. So I still had to drive a good like round trip was like three hours at least to get out there. And my sister is my real estate agent. So she set up the tours for these houses. We got to see them. And so we contacted the agents of the people who were renting them. They hadn't even listed for more than like 48 hours max when we went to go look at them. And both of them were like, oh, we have a ton of applications already come in. And both of them said that the owner was picking a tenant that night. And at this point, it's like 5 p.m. And they were like, yeah, they want to pick them this evening. But if you want to go ahead and apply, that was the thing is they they were both being like, oh, sorry. And then we were like, well, we you let us tour it, though, like a few hours ago. And they were like, OK, well, since we let you we approved for you to go tour it, we'll let you apply. 
and we'll give your application, but just know there's a lot of people and it's really competitive. So we rushed like crazy people to get these applications filled out and turned in. The good news is they didn't charge me an application fee. They said they would only charge me the fee if I was the person selected. And I'm sure that goes towards like background checks and stuff like that. But anyways, so at least like I didn't lose any money, but I didn't get either of them. One of them we submitted to the agent and my sister contacted the agent and said, um, we've submitted it, let us know if there's anything else we need to fill out. And he responded and was like, he told us he would wait for us. And we submitted it like within like an hour of him saying that we could apply. And it's a lot of paperwork. It's not like the paperwork for signing an apartment lease. Like honestly, I was shocked at how different it was when you're renting a house versus just be like renting an apartment. But anyway, so we got all of that done, um, sent it to him and he said he would wait. But then when my sister told him like, okay, it's submitted. Let me know if you can see it like in the portal or whatever. He was like, oh, sorry, we couldn't wait on you guys. Like, and he like wouldn't give it to the owner. So that was kind of annoying. Like I get it, everyone's on a time crunch, but you could tell he just like didn't communicate with the owner that there's another applicant coming in. And like, I get it. The guy probably already have someone picked out and that's fine. I probably wouldn't have gotten anyways, but it was just kind of the principle of him being like, yeah, sure, we'll, since you did it, we'll, I'll make sure he gets your application before he picks someone. And then we did all the work and he like didn't even show it to the guy. Like we, it was pointless for us to do any of that. And I just rather him communicate first. And then the other real, the house and the other real estate agent we talked to, she was super sweet, super help, super helpful. Um, signed out all this, like filled out all the stuff and she did actually give it to the people, um, like the owners. But then I think like the next day she had contacted that they went with someone else. So that's fine. That's another thing too, is it's like, even if you get to apply, which is already really hard because you gotta like, I can't, it's so hard because I'm having to do these three hour trips over and over. Like something's listed last, like tonight. Okay, can I go tomorrow? And it's like a lot of gas and stuff wasted. Oh my gosh. But even rushing out there to do it, they're probably gonna give favor to whoever applied first. So that's even more frustrating if you're like running in and you have an application and you're in the window, but you're like the eighth person to go. There's a high probability that of the seven people in front of you, they probably have someone they are fine with living there and that would be great tenants. So they're just gonna give it to them because they applied first. So, but yeah, we're gonna keep trying. I have more houses to look at, but that's just kind of an update. I mean, the housing market right now is insane. I mean, I'm not buying, I'm just renting, but all of it is just so crazy right now, which is good. Like, I mean, I'm happy for my sister. Her like business is good for her, but it is a little stressful for like, people trying to rent. So I know we'll figure something out. Uh, Taylor's so chill about this stuff, which is, <laughs> which is really sweet. He kind of keeps me calm. Um, the other thing too is that they want people to move in like within like a week or two. Like you have to be on it. So we're around the time where now it actually would work perfectly. Like if they need someone there tomorrow, like we'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> um, so that part's at least good because before they were interested in us, but they wanted us to move in like a month before I like could get there. Like I wasn't done with school. I hadn't graduated. So at least now we don't really have a lot of things blocking us. It's just like, pick us, please pick us. <laughs> but anyways, sorry for all the talking. I'll go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below which house was your favorite. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Also hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye. On it. Like we don't want to sound bad, but we don't want to sound like we we're trying too hard to sound good at singing. So it's <laughs> kind of middle. Yeah, it's so weird. Kind of like, well, come home. She showed it to all of our classes. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Oh yeah. She was because part of it. then she made us come back the next day and do it again. She was like, "That was fantastic." Tomorrow we're recording it, and then my whole class had to just sit. I'm just telling you right now, baby. <laughs>